All right, we're gonna take a look at some graphs today. Now this is our first graph. You can see that it has what it's talking about at the top. So it says types of food for the food bank. Just go ahead and take a minute, make some observations about this graph. What do you notice? So some things to notice might be the numbers going up over here, or the words down here, or the bars, or the lines. All of those things are important. All of those tell us something. Let's look at another type of graph. Okay, here's another graph. It's called the same thing. Types of food for the food bank. Okay, I noticed that the labels are the same but there are no lines here and there are no numbers here. But there is a key here that tells me that each of these boxes represents 10 cans. So this graph is actually telling me the same thing as this graph. They're just two different ways to represent the data. It just looks a little bit different, but we can compare. Here's chicken soup. There were 30 cans of chicken soup. And then here there's a box is worth 10 cans, so 10, 20, 30, there's 30 cans of chicken soup. So they're showing me the same thing. They just look a little bit different. And here's one more graph. Now this one's also different. What's different right off the bat? What do you notice immediately is different about this one? So this one isn't using bars, it's using pictures, right? A picture or one can is equal to 10 cans. So the other two had 30 cans of chicken soup and here's 10, 20, 30 cans of chicken soup. So once again, these are all showing us the same data. They just look a little bit different. So some important things about a graph. You're gonna have a title on all of your graphs. That is important because it tells you what you're looking at. It tells you what the graph is about. You're always gonna have a key, or you may not have a key, like our first bar graph didn't have a key, but this one does. And so did the last one with the pictures of the cans. You're gonna, you may have bars. Um, the last one with the pictures didn't have bars, but a bar graph will have bars. And then you will always have labels. You'll have to label what you're looking at. So I know that this is corn, this is green beans. Okay, each of those graphs had labels.